let's continue working on our project. So what so far we have done, we just create a project, but it's not visible, so we can't see it. So how we can do see our project? Same as any other projects, just start XAMPP if it's not already started. Open the control panel. Mine is already started. So even if you close it here, it will run in the background. So what I can do is actually I can go to localhost and if I click here, dashboard, it's not going to be found. Okay, localhost, in, I say intro, here it is, but this looks bad because I open localhost intro and I don't see uh, the actual app or I can see the, all of the folders here. And that's a security issue. So we can go, we need to go to the public. So here you can type public or ju just can click it. And here it is. This is our application now, Laravel. Now I have it here in our directory, but I will open VS Code and I will say file, open folder, and I will just go back, go back, go back. I need to go to XAMPP HTDocs and find it and select it. So here is our application loaded. I'm just gonna go, not gonna go through all of the things right now because I just want you to see. So I just want you, we to start the, the our application to, to see it live. So as I told you, we're not gonna use this one slash public like this because if we go one step back, somebody actually this is out in our local machine but it, this is not good so you know need to learn how to even in your computer to save uh to be like um to avoid this security issue so what we're going to do now is that we need to do a couple of changes in order to do that now i'm just going to open file and i need to open a file actually not folder and that file is in XAMPP, Apache, and config. And if I go to extra, you will see this one, HTTPDVHHost, right? So open that file here. And now I can create a virtual host. That virtual host, for example, I'm just going to copy it, this one. If you don't have this one, don't worry, but you, you should have this one now. Virtual host, it will be same AT port, document root, it should be C, HTDocs, and here we need to specify the path to our folder uh, intro, right? Now, it's not going to be localhost, it's going to be the server name, it's going to be, for example, intro.com or intro.dev, for example, for you guys. I'm just going to stick with intro.com. And we are done here, but we need to save it, right? So, again, I am in XAMPP Apache configuration extra, and I'm inside this VH host, right? Vir I create virtual host here. So, I'm done with that part. Now, I need to do another thing. So, I just need to open Notepad. So, if you're not administrator, logged in as an administrator, you can right click on the Notepad and run as administrator, right? So here, if you go, I will tell you why this little in a second. So now you need to go open, and the pad is already there for me because I've already opened this before. So it's in this PC, C, Windows, here it is, Windows, System 33, Drivers, ETC. But now it's not showing anything because here I didn't check all files. Now I need to go here in the hosts, all right? So if I open hosts, here it is. Now it's open like this. So what I can do here, I, just, I can just copy this one, put it like this, and I can give it a name, in, intro.com. And I'm just gonna space it. Now, why somebody will say, okay, why we did this, uh, why we did open it in, um, so this, file contains the mapping IP address to host names, right? So this is what we're creating. creating. So um, the thing is that we open this one in as an uh, administrator because now if, you can, if I 
go file save or control and s in windows it will save it for me otherwise if you try to be login as a normal user you will not be able to change this configuration here and you will not be able to do this now one more thing that we need to do is so for me it's taking it should it shouldn't be like this so if I, I'm just gonna close this one part now now here why do I have two now I need to stop this to stop and I'm just gonna quit it by the way what's happening I, don't, I do have two right so we need to restart the Apache so Zam and by the way now if I try to go to localhost only see what's happening because we don't have Apache anymore we don't have the Zam Apache started so I'm gonna have error right unable to connect so if I go start here and start it again now if I just restart it, it shoot me to the dashboard but I that was not, not the idea so was intro sorry intro.com so mm, this intro.com shouldn't be like that because do I specify the public in see I've done an error here open file and VS hosts no so what <laughs> what I have done here I didn't specify the public folder right so I just want to get inside a public so this is my mistake so I'm sorry about this but you should go inside intro and public now I'm just gonna save it and this might not work because I need to restart it the services again so what I'm going to do I'm going to go back in the Apache stop it I'm just gonna quit it by the way in here if I try to load it it will not work anymore right just wait because the Zam the Apache ser server is not started now I'm just gonna go again start it and let's hopefully I'm gonna see be able here it is I can now will not be able to see all the folders I'm just directly there so two things we have done just gonna close this part in V in HTTP uh, VH hosts I'm inside C Zam Apache so locate where your Apache installation is configuration extra and this part now create another vir virtual host that will be this will must be the name of your folder for example if you have a, I don't know block it should be block slash public so you want to get actually you want to get inside this this folder here and inside this path so you need to have this path that's why it wasn't working for me now server name you need to give it a meaningful server name intro.com for example it can be anything or the dev and that is the one thing also what we have done is I create note open the notepad as an administrator file open and I open this path here but I couldn't see anything because I need to click all files and I need to host I need to create the host here so what I did I just called intro.com and that's pretty much it so this has been like this for a while so I, I'm not sure it's gonna change in future but if you do have any problems do this uh, let me know so I will see what's uh, another solution is now I'm done with this save it again I didn't change anything this I don't need but one more thing I need to show you because some of the students might might want to know so sorry I'm gonna type CMD and I'm gonna go CD 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 Zam HD Docs and I'm inside intro right now so what I want to do I just want to go PHP artisan and you will see what we have here now PHP artisan where was it where was it serve here it is serve this is available command to serve the application of the PHP development server so we can just call PHP artisan serve and look what will happen Laravel development server started and it gives us this URL here so if I go here I do have the application without bothering all of these steps before but one thing I don't like this one 
because even I sometimes forget to do some things. Now, if you change something here, especially in the environment, in this environment here, if you specify something and you, if you forget here to exit this one and restart it, then you will have a problem. You will not be able to see the changes here. So that's why I avoid using this one, but it's a very nice to know. This is another way how you can load your application. Do this if you don't want to, for example, if you don't want to do all of the steps, maybe I should I should say about this at the beginning, right? But it is what it is. Now, you can use this, but remember, if you change something here and it's not showing up here, that must be because you need, for example, Control C, Control C or, or, or Command C in order to, to stop this one. And you need to, again, PHP Artisan Serve, right? And it's going to restart the services again. And you will see the changes here. So that's pretty much of uh, this lecture. I don't want to make it even a uh, little bit longer of this. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.